Hi, I'm criminal defense attorney Aaron J. Boria, and today I'm going to talk to you about trials in the criminal justice system. So first off, what is a trial? A trial is where the fact issues, meaning the disputes of a case, are resolved. So for instance, if you were accused of retail fraud, if it was alleged that you took something that didn't belong to you from the store, but you argued that you actually paid for the item or you came into the store already with the item and it was yours, that's a fact issue. The prosecutor and police say you stole the item, you say that you brought it in, the prosecutor has to prove you stole it. A jury has to decide who is telling the truth. And if the prosecutor can't prove the case, the jury has to decide with the defendant. There are two types of trials in the criminal justice system. One type is a bench trial or a trial by judge. The other type is a jury trial. A jury trial is where random people from the community come and they decide the fact issues of the case. Bench trials. So again, a bench trial is where the judge will decide both the legal issues and the fact issues in your case. There are reasons why you may want to have a trial by judge and there are reasons why you may not want to have a trial by judge. Sometimes people want to have a trial by judge because they can get their trial date sooner and there can be benefits to that depending on the case. They tend to be less expensive and they tend to take less time when you do a trial by judge. Many issues can be resolved ahead of time um, that you may not want to resolve in front of a jury. And there are certain types of cases that you may want to have with a judge that you wouldn't want to have with a jury and vice versa. For example, uh, drinking and driving cases are highly contested and there's a lot of bad press about those types of cases. So many jury trials where operation is at issue, can the prosecutor actually prove the person was driving the car while they were intoxicated? Those types of cases. At trial, a jury it can be quick to find those people guilty when operation is at issue. For example, let's say that a person is found on the side of the road in their car, uh, the car's running and they're sitting in the vehicle and they're drunk. Did that person drive drunk? They're sitting on the side of the road. Well, the prosecutor's gonna argue and many juries will find them guilty believing that, well, they must have driven there. But a judge following the black letter of the law, a fair judge, may be willing to find that person not guilty if the prosecutor cannot prove that the person actually drove there. So that could be an example of a case that you would actually want to try by a fair judge. Reasons why you may not want to have a bench trial. If you live in a very small community and the charges against you involve the police and the fact issues are whether or not they're lying and your judge happens to play golf with the chief of police uh, and is very buddy-buddy with the city attorney, that may not be a case that you want that judge to decide. You may want to go with the jury. Trial by jury is my favorite type of trial and probably what I recommend at least 90% or more of my clients do in their cases. I'm sure you've seen all kinds of movies, Rainmaker, A Civil Action, those kind of movies are all examples of jury trials. That is where random people from the community will sit and decide the case. In a misdemeanor in Michigan, six people will decide the case and in a felony, it's gonna be 12 people. When the jury decides the case as to either the person being guilty or not guilty, they have to be unanimous, meaning that they all have to agree. If one single person votes differently than the rest, the case can result in a mistrial and the trial may have to be retried again, which is pretty rare. Sometimes you wanna have a jury trial because juries can be more compassionate, they can be more reasonable, um, and frankly, they see through a lot of the BS that prosecutors and police officers uh, will try to present. I'm criminal defense attorney Aaron J. Boria, and if you've been charged with a crime, call me today. 
734-453-7806 or shoot an email at borealaw at gmail.com. I am a criminal defense attorney in Michigan. I have tried multiple cases from felonies to misdemeanors with a winning record. If you've been accused of a crime, call me today. No one will fight for you like I will.